Hey everybody, this is Gloria coming to you on Sunday, June the 23rd. Uh, today I had a very interesting uh, uh, day. Got up feeling really good, uh, thank goodness. But um, yesterday, uh, that 1200 calorie diet I've been on, I blew it. I blew it big time. I did really good starting out yesterday morning, and then all of a sudden yesterday afternoon, I was like, oh my God, I am so hungry. I couldn't get enough to eat. So, uh, I checked my sugar, cooking for it. I mean, I already had my dinner, had it logged and everything, and then it wound up being 300, I think in 23 was what my sugar was. And then after I got to thinking about it, well, I, I went and ate. I ate me a can of spaghetti, little hickey something other to uh, satisfy my craving because I mean it wasn't like the mental hungry. I was literally hungry. Um, I felt like I hadn't ate all day. That's how hungry I, I was. And yeah, I sat and thought about it after the fact of like last night I was already in the bed and lay there and I lay there for a long time pondering. It felt bad because I blew my diet, but. I was just so hungry, there's no way I was going to be able to go to sleep being that hungry. I even went back on my diet pills. I thought, well, maybe that's what it is. But that wasn't it. Um, it was that high sugar that made me so hungry. And I never, ever put two and two together as to that being the reason why I was hungry because you know, my sugar had been out of control for a long time. And I you know, was eating because I was staying hungry. I mean, yeah, I can handle pretty much like the munchies or whatever. Um, you know, just by preoccupying myself with something else. But as far as physically being hungry and getting sick and all that, I can't handle it. So I thought, well, this morning when I got up, I Googled it to, as to if the blood sugar like that being high would cause um, it to um, cause you to have that, um, you know, the hunger feeling. And that is one of the side effects. When your sugar's running high, you being hungry. And I've never had a doctor or anybody tell me that. You know, I always know that most diabetics I knew that they stayed hungry. But nobody ever said, well, if your sugar's running out of control or if your sugar's high, it'll do that. Yesterday's first high I've had on uh, my numbers on my sugar in a long time because of the fact that I had to get a uh, ster steroid shot, which the doctor said that would happen because I wound up having strep throat and double ear infections and on the good side of that I'd lost 20 pounds and I was happy about that but you know and the more I pondered on it and thought about it I thought it makes perfect sense all this time I thought that I was just a bad person whatever because I had such a appetite and I couldn't figure out how people around me you know they could eat a lot less or whatever and be completely satisfied so people need to be aware that the blood sugars being high like that causes you to stay hungry so if I wasn't diligent on keeping my blood sugar under control I mean, I'd be straight up honest about it. I wouldn't take, and uh, sometimes I didn't take the shots like I was supposed to. Um, and I had a job that was very, very stressful. And that stress alone was enough to kill me. And I'm so glad I'm away from that. Thank God for that. But, um, you know, it, it's all making a lot of sense. And I'm top person. Once I know something like that, I'll spread the word. Because I meant, why not? Uh, so if you know somebody's diabetic, that their sugars seem to be all out of whack, and they're staying hungry, 
that's it. It's the sugar. Um, I mean, it, it should, I mean, to me, that's something they should share. Uh, I don't know if everybody would take heed to it, but that's something that um, would be nice to know. Anyhow, I got a little makeup on today, and I tried something on an Ipsy bag. Can y'all see it? Can you see that? Um, I can't see if I'm close enough. See that uh, gold, um, like an eyeshadow that I put like right in there. First put it on, and good Lord, I had that junk just all over me. But anyway, I just thought I'd do something to get my sister to look. See, you can see it now. Oh, uh, um, got an endoscopic thing going this Wednesday, and I done decided I want them to hurry up and get this thing going. I'm at, it's like I've been forever trying to get it done for my surgery. I've already got a little name for um, my pouch, um, and it's going to be a he. Uh, his name is Elvis. Elvis is not here yet. But he's on his way. He's going to make a big splash when he comes. So, um, it sounded almost dirty, didn't it? Didn't mean it to be dirty. I always uh, loved Elvis. And it's the first thing when I popped that popped in my mind when I thought about my um, naming my pouch. Because I know a lot of people name their pouch. I want my pouch to be Elvis. Because I love Elvis. And... Me and Elvis are going to rock and roll and get this weight off of me, and I'm going to be healthy. I'm not going to be so much as far as vain about uh, getting skinny and all that. Healthy, that's my number one thing. Oh, it's going to be sweet to slim down. going to be real sweet. Uh, yesterday, I passed by the mirror. I think yesterday, whatever, the last couple days been a blur. But I got a quick glimpse of someone I hadn't seen in a long time looking back at me. And because, well, you can't tell the way I'm saying, but see, that's what I got to see. And I haven't seen her in a long time. Kind of cute, actually. Yeah. But anyhow, Michael uh, on BSG was talking about, uh, people talking about doing the different angles. Well, this is a totally different angle. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing exactly that. You know, because I want to have that chin so prominent and showing. Kind of cute, huh? But anyhow, y'all have a good Sunday. I had recorded this earlier, but it wouldn't let me upload it because it was too long. I was having my morning coffee, and I guess I just got long-winded. Okay, well, y'all have a great day, and I'm back on track with my 1,200 calories, so I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.